Hey everybody, welcome to Into Fly Fishing. My name is Dallas Hudgens and we're going to be reviewing the Reddington Behemoth Reel today. This is the 5.6 weight. Uh, first off though, a little bit about me. I've been fishing for probably most of my life, 25 years now, and fly fishing exclusively for the past four or five. And this is the second reel I've ever bought. First one was just a cheap combo that I had for about a year until I learned that I wanted to really get something nicer. And so the first thing I bought was the Behemoth. And so that's why we're gonna go over this today because I think it's a great reel. It could be a great backup reel. Uh, it could be a great reel for someone who's looking to upgrade from your, your first, you know, cheap setup. So we're gonna go into that now. Real quick, it is a little heavy. It's right under 11 ounces. Yeah, it's about 10.8 ounces. It's great for uh, like a big, a great bass rod, great trout rod. Um, the drag system on it is really, really strong. So if you're looking to throw a lot of big time streamers or poppers or chase bigger freshwater or saltwater fish, and this is a great reel for that. The drag, the drag actually maxes out at over 16 pounds. So you can really crank it up and put the pressure on those fish that you're fighting with. If you're looking for a real noisy reel, then this might not be the best one for you. It doesn't sound bad, but it's just, it doesn't have that big, uh, big sound that you get from some of the clicking balls or some of the other reels. I mean, it's, it's, uh, this is very muted. So if you've got a fish that's, you know, maybe you got your drag turned down and you've got a fish that's stripping you off, I mean, it's going to be, um, it's going to be pretty quiet. No one's really going to hear it. Which for me, that's great. I don't really care if people are hearing my drag or not. But all that matters is that the drag is strong enough to hold up to some of the fish that you're going to be fighting. So the spool on the reel is triangular. So if you're looking at it, which you can't see it on this because of my, my backing and my line, but it actually goes in right here into a little point. And so that's where the backing sits. And that just makes it a little bit, uh, you can put a little bit more backing in there and it sits better on the reel. And that's gonna be better for putting your fly line on it. Um, if something does wind up stripping into the backing, then it's gonna be a little bit sturdier. Unless you're chasing big time saltwater fish, it's not gonna happen too often. Like I said, especially with the drag you got on this reel. And also the triangular drag system helps pick up line a little bit quicker than a normal large arbor, something like that. So in terms of looks, I think it's a pretty, pretty great looking reel. And these come in all different types of colors. This one right here is gunmetal. And they, I've seen them in sand or green, a couple bright colors of black. And I just, this was the, the only one that had the fly shop. And I'm also, I got lucky and I like the color anyway, so that worked out well. Uh, this right here, that is the drag system. So you can easily turn that, and tighten it up, or you can bring it all the way down so it's real loose. So that line just strips out super easy. Tightened all the way. I can't even pull it, so probably won't have it that tight unless you've got some really strong leader on there. But this little piece right here, this comes off, and then you can take the reel apart that way. Just pull it apart. So it is a cast reel, just like all other cast reels. Uh, they do not do well when dropped. In fact, this is my second behemoth. The very first one broke a week after I bought it. Um, the very first time on the river, I had was setting it up on my rod. I dropped it off the tailgate of my truck, and the handle completely shattered off. Um, I mean, I still used it that day, but the handle was. I mean, there was there was no handle. It was completely sheared off. So everything had to be hand pulled in, and luckily, I didn't get anything too big that I would have needed to use my drag system but uh, behemoth was pretty good about sending me a new reel though after they heard about that so I sent in the old one got a brand new one and they uh, they put the line and the backing on it for me so it was really easy to get in touch with them and 
have them take care of that issue for me. And I've, they've been great about my, uh, my Reddington rods too. The price is going to be around $130. That might be a little bit more for some of the bigger reels for salt water, like the, uh, some of the 10 weights or anything above that. But that's a pretty great price for a reel that has such a strong drag system. And like I said, even though the, the handle sheared off pretty easily, it still was able to go on. And, uh, you know, since then I've dropped it several times. So it's fallen in the mud, it's fallen in the water, fallen in the rocks. And I've, it's still, it keeps on going. And that's because it has a sealed drag system. So the rest of the reel itself is going to be pretty great. And it's going to hold up to sandy water, dirty water. But yeah, like the, the price for it's pretty great. 130 bucks. You get a great reel, strong drag system, looks great. And you can use this for pretty much any kind of fishing that you would want to do. So I hope you found this review helpful of the Reddington Behemoth. Uh, go down and comment on this article, subscribe to the webpage, and you know, I can't recommend this enough if you're looking for a strong reel for 130 bucks. Great drag system. Check it out.